few days ago, uh, Alex Kurdecha kind of shocked the armistice world. We did a number of polls and uh, every time we asked the question, one out of five people said that Kurdecha will win, four would say Army's gonna destroy. And result was completely opposite. 6-0, there pretty much was no chance for Armies there in that match. Alex Kurdecha uh, is on a, quite a roll, three super matches in a row, 6-0, without losing any round, without losing anything at any point. He looked mega. Who predicted that Alex will win? <laughs> Actually, actually uh, in my eyes, that difference in that fight uh, was not so huge. It's, it's top, they both are top rollers. Top rollers, yeah. And when two good top rollers meet, yeah. usually... Who takes the hand? That's it. Yeah. And uh, this time Alex was better and... Uh, but it's, it's not like... Uh, if, if there are two good hook arm wrestlers, very often you can see a fight with top roll, that's it. And no, yeah, no one of the them, them is able to fight without a wrist, without a hand. I think Alex is able. I think, I think if it would be the opposite one, I think Alex would try and do some things and, you know... Right, right, right now everyone is talking uh, where we can rank. Uh, where we can rank, yeah. Alex, when we can rank... Because uh, after, after uh, everyone saw a practice video of Hermes and uh, Vitali, everyone was like, Hermes top three in the world. And I even said that um, I think he, he might be top ten, maybe higher, but is now Alex Kurdecha top three in the world or or are we kind of we're not getting the whole picture of arm wrestling just because because back in the day you know back in your times people went to tournaments everyone competed and the winner of the tournaments usually get the higher ranking lower places get lower ranking you can look at some matches where it was close and they did super matches for those matches and we figure out who ranks higher you know now it's kind of interesting world the super matches world and we don't have a clear picture because the the super matches are so rare and they're they're even not fighting amongst themselves we kind of we pick this guy and can this guy beat this guy and he beats him like where do we rank him because he didn't beat anyone else he just beat that guy you know and one more one more thing arm wrestling is about styles and if we talk about super matches yeah Alex, Alex won against Hermes, but very possibly Hermes could beat someone which, which Alex could struggle against. It's, it's, uh, it's fight sport, it's uh, individual, technical, tactical and uh, many aspects are important and in arm wrestling you can never, never know. Uh, I think Alex could struggle about, against arm wrestlers who are able to still hold him in a... In a you can stop him? Yeah. For example, Jerry Caldred, for example, Michael Todd. Yeah. 100% Alex, Alex could take a, uh, will take a, and will take a wrist and hand of uh, Michael Todd and probably... Yeah, but what happens when he's yeah. in that position? And, and I, I think there are maybe 20, 30 or maybe even 50 arm wrestlers in the world who can uh, take uh, Michael's hand, but uh, not uh, all of them are, them are able to finish the fight. And very, uh, very rarely you can finish Michael. Uh, that, yeah. Because I, I, I would say, like, I think Hermes, the bigger version of Hermes should be, you know, Michael Todd now. In, in my opinion, because he's just as, you know, way better top role than he was before. When they, when they met. When they in met, the, in, yeah. Four or five years ago. Mm. So, but again, we don't know. And what do you think? Do we need big tournaments? Because then we had, like, ranking, because, you know, if... Tsiplenko won Zlotitor, most likely he's the man. We need, we need more tournaments, we need more uh, super matches, we need more uh, round robin fights. That's, that's all makes sport uh, more fun and uh, yeah. more interesting. And, and uh, there always will be discussions in any sport, in a, in a fight sport, in a boxing, in a MMA, who, who, is, who, is, who is best right yeah. now and uh, it's all changing. That uh, if you have won two years ago some tournament, it doesn't doesn't, doesn't mean that uh, doesn't you will be best tomorrow. Yeah. You, history, have, you have to stay active. In, yeah. in the sport, history is history, and uh, everything is. But of course, uh, if we talk about Alex right now, he is somewhere in top. And we were we were talking before about that that Alex is uh, closing the gap really really fast, and he is getting closer to that those best arm wrestlers. I said before that he has a chance to be one of very, very best and fight with Levan, with uh, Devon, with uh, Vitali Lagetin. Who knows, maybe, maybe he's already much closer to them than we thought before. Yeah. 
because because again we we really don't know uh Hermes last match was against Matt Mass two matches one he lost one he won after that you know uh, the practice you should never look at the practice we practice can tell a story you know uh, if someone is at some point where we're arm wrestling together you can figure out they're both strong pretty even but when it's competition these small details the things that you didn't do in a practice will come in come in picture so if you look at Hermes practicing it was like oh he might beat him you know I'm like that should not give you that much if he would constantly do that you know and, and I think I rank Hermes very high I think he is very good how much he weighed in the fight against Alex? Maybe 120, I really don't know, I don't know, yeah, uh, Alex 140, 150? At least, yeah, at yeah. least, uh, he's I think a 150. Giant. He's, he's a real he's giant, yeah, so that, that's, he's that's, a real heavyweight, yeah. a super heavyweight. There, there comes another thing, Hermes was never a real heavyweight, he's a big, but he's, he's not a real heavyweight, could they he's chase? He's gaining, he's getting yeah. bigger, he's yeah, but probably, pro probably for him more natural would be around 110 kilo class and uh, yeah, and super heavyweights, yeah. something like that. W with fighting with guys that are in in that weight class, but we kind of in this pursuit, everyone wants to, you know, beat Levan, who's a real giant, mm -hmm. real life giant, you know, and uh, I think Kurdecha is has a good chance. He's coming to the picture, Vitali. We will see more of these guys coming in, but. I think we need we need tournaments. We need big name tournaments where where the guys, the top guys, are actually fighting each other. Mm -hmm. So for uh, for uh, Alex Kurdeche, next fight possibly could could be Levan, could Levan. be Vitaly Leighton. Yeah, but it's still uh, who else? Who uh, it's Tim Bresnan and uh, Prudnik. Yeah. In, in in next week, in two weeks, something like that. It should should be quite soon. Yeah, so. That's that's but, a good but, but potentially he's right now in a top four in his semi-final and if it's uh, if it's like it uh, could be yeah is it uh, I, Levan I would, or I would love or better Vitaly. see him versus Vitali to be honest but I would love to see Vitali versus Levan to see how much they have progressed in two years <laughs> you know because uh, Vitali isn't isn't that chase and uh, he 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 lost but you know he had some opportunities and if he but Levan looks so strong. He, <laughs> he, he just doesn't look like from this world. He looks ridiculous. So that's the problem. Everyone is human, you know. And yeah. I, you know, we, we need these uh, East versus West. You know, East versus West, it's going to be in February. At least we're going to see uh, s some matches that we really want to see. Maybe John is in the picture. Imagine if John beats Devon. Because everyone's like, Devon's top three also, <laughs> you know. That's, that's impossible, like uh, in, in my mind it's impossible that an uh, arm wrestler who has been retired at the age of 57 uh, come back, uh, train for a few months and uh, beat one of best. It's, he's so confident, he's so chill, he's so confident. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm looking at it I'm like... Oh. I love that comment, he said that uh, Devon still, still has the same uh, weak tendon and uh, slow <laughs> narrow, <laughs> narrow system. Yeah, yeah. Even, even when he's bigger. <laughs> It's it's a weird one, but imagine if that happens. And again, none of these guys are facing European guys. So again, the rankings are all messed up. We need to build that bridge. We need to fill that gap, and then we understand more. Even even the events we had, like in lightweights, Vojtar beat Kitowski. We still don't know where Kitowski ranks because he lost to the number one guy, basically. You know? Yeah. So the number two after after last <laughs> after Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> but when, when was it, when was the last time when uh, some big name uh, North American uh, arm wrestler won against uh, currently top top ranked uh, European? In Vendetta's or Zlotitors? Mm, okay, Vendetta's super Vendetta's fight, super match. Michael won Pushkar, but that was which okay, year? Yeah, it was? After, after that, Pushkar won against Michael. After yeah, and then Trubin beat Michael a few times. Mm. You know, yeah. Who else has come? They, they won one against Pushka, but that was a long time ago. Yeah. And uh, Tim Bresson hasn't really beaten those top top tier guys. Theoretically, you know? the last one who who was winning against the best Europeans was John Brzezink. Yeah. John Brzezink. John Brzezink. Yeah. 2006, 2007. He Ten. won against when he won against uh, yeah. 
uh, Denis Tiplenko when he won against Andriy Pushkar and uh, many others. Even 2015, he was the second after, uh, but there was uh, Dave Chafee, Dave Chafee. Dave, 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 Dave won against, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, he, he won at least a fight. I, I was thinking, Alex versus Dave. And they, and they, they won super match against uh, Gennady Kukwine. Yeah. So. There are still. It's, it's definitely. Uh, it's, we are not talk, not not saying that uh, North Americans are not able to win against uh, best U Europeans, but no. uh, we haven't seen that for almost last uh, ten years. Yeah. It's 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 a long, especially the higher ranked ones. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we need those tournaments. I, I exactly. think I think tournaments can help. And after tournament, if there was a e close match or someone met someone when they were tired, make a super match. You know. I'm all game, but it's kind of just looking at the super match, especially PAL, 6-0, 6-0, 6-0, you know, this, it's not interesting. That's, that's the thing when you put together a super match, you just put together two top ranked armistice, yeah. Yeah. Or, or you put together like, like in arm wars, you yeah. pick up. Someone who can, who stylistically will match He, he, try, he yeah. tries to put together armistice, which could make yeah. a good fight and... Put, uh, put, uh, Er Hermes will face Gennady very soon. Uh, even if That's Gennady loses his hand, it's going to be a match. And we will Hel see... Healthy, healthy Gennady is uh, able to fight in any position. Any position he can yeah. press, he can pull, he can, he yeah. can uh, hook. Yeah. And even if he stops you like a yeah. few millimeters from yeah. pad, he's still in he fight. Will, we, yeah. have, we have seen that many times many before times. against uh, Sergei yeah. Tokarev, against Norman yeah. Thompson and many others. He, he, his hand might not be that his ace move, but you know he can fight, and uh, this is that super match is interesting for me because I think it's gonna be a fight. I, I feel look at the whole card of King of the Table too. I, I think all those matches will be interesting. They can be, it can be six zero, you know, mm -hmm. but there's gonna be a fight in all yeah. of those matches. And about Gennady, we, we, we can remember last time when he pulled it, it was actually a long time ago against Dave Chaffee. Yeah. Three, four years ago with Super... 2018. 18, yeah. so three years ago and uh, and he lost 5-1, but... 4-2. Uh, or 4-2. 4-2. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it's nothing to take away from Dave, but uh, Gennady was injured. He was injured. And he was yeah. able to pull just top roll, no press, no hook at all. He, he, he was injured in uh, medial collateral uh, uh, ligament and he, he was quite limited and uh, he was pulling just top roll, which is not uh, actually style how he is usually pulling. Yeah, it's these, these matches, you know, I would love to see something that gives me some sense on where guys rank. So what are your thoughts? Give us your thoughts in the comment. Do we need more super matches or we need more tournaments? Or we need combination of both? Because I think we need combination of both. Because when we had Zloty Tour, at least you had the ranking. The top guys went there, you know, money prizes. Not, not in every, every class, in, uh, not in every class. But, but and, uh, still, North Americans came and we saw something. We at least saw, you know, their Barbosa was there not so long ago. Yeah. And, you know, uh, a lot of guys. And, I think we kind of we're missing it out right now. We're, we're making these super ma the super matches left and right, and everyone's fighting in super matches. They don't give me anything. I, I looked at Hermes and Kordesh. I'm like, this is not right. <laughs> this is like, mm, you know, where do we rank? Because all the ranking system kind of went down the drain in the toilet. Basically, after that, you're like, uh, is Kordesh higher now? Did did he skip like ten steps already? Or maybe he was that good all the time? You know. Because he destroyed Tobias, he destroyed SP. Yeah. This is why we don't sleep at night. <laughs> yeah. so, 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 so in uh, nighttime you are you are uh, like, oh, dreaming you about your potential top ten ranked armistice <laughs> in every class and uh, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. yeah slow start uh, in the straps he could win in, <laughs> yeah. if he's already here he in the one position foul. One elbow, elbow fall. fall yeah running for yeah. elbow fall. Mm. And Bart Wood is ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> who, who would win? Devon will lose, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, that's uh, that's the tricky part of arm wrestling. Um, that's also a fun part of arm wrestling. Yeah, even even in in the leagues, you know, who goes higher? We know who's the champ is, but it's an interesting. Yeah, yeah. Stay strong. I love arm wrestling. Yeah.